Sense Galore has been making candles in our valley for almost six years. So what sets them apart from the competition? Well, scents like vanilla and fresh berries and Hawaiian dream and the way the candles actually burn down. Start off with this is a one pound slab of wax here. Sometimes I do two pounds, sometimes three. Just put it in the pot, let it melt down until it reaches the correct temperature. Linda Bobick of Sense Galore hand makes every candle. Just pour them in the molds, let them sit for about 24 hours, and then I do the second pour on them, and then that's it. Bobbick and her husband Mike opened Sense Galore when Mike, who's a maintenance technician, decided he wanted to spend less hours in the mill and start a business of their own to hand down to their children. I told her, I said, give it some thought. And a couple of months later, I came home from work and she says, I think I figured out what we can do. And I said, what's that? And she said, scented candles. As, as things moved on, you know, I started getting involved with her. And we, it was kind of nice because we actually worked together on it. And uh, we actually got along doing it. And uh, <laughs> as, as the family and friends started, uh, you know, finding out about us and they tried our product, and things just kind of went from there. They first sold out of their home. Now they own this store in Lowville. We carry between 70 and 75 fragrances. I probably really, really like vanillas, uh, pecan caramel swirl, vanilla bean. Um, creme brulee. From citrus basil to apple strudel, you can find just about every food, floral, or holiday scent you can imagine. Watermelon for spring, for Easter? Uh, uh, coconut cream Easter egg, jelly bean. Come Christmas time, they want the bayberry, the Christmas tree, which I only put out at that time. Now they'll come in and they'll be looking for watermelon and, of course, Thanksgiving pumpkin pie. So it, they usually buy according to the season. And after checking out their Facebook page and website, I just had to ask. When I noticed on your Facebook page that you had an interesting scent that was called monkey farts. Yes. <laughs> Can you tell us what that's all about? It's actually a combination of everything a monkey would eat. Strawberries, kiwis, coconut, banana. Um, of course, when a monkey went to fart, I'm sure it wouldn't smell like my candle does, but if you put all those combinations together, it's really very, very pleasant. One of the things that makes these candles so unique is how they burn. You get about seven hours for every ounce. Uh, we recommend that you light them for approximately an hour, maybe two. You get a melted pool on the top. Once that melted pool is there, it'll burn evenly. If you blow it out, let it set again, and do the same thing, and you'll get it burning down all the way to the bottom, and there's literally nothing left. And from the candles to the tart melts to the votives, Linda creates them herself, attracting customers from across the line in Pennsylvania. Yep. Well, there are so many candle companies out there, so what sets you apart from the competition? Well, I guess it's our quality, because that's what we hear from our customers. A lot of our customers have gone to other uh, manufacturers and they come to us and they just keep coming back to us. And most of their advertising is by word of mouth. We have been able to stay in business and I think the reason is because of the loyalty of our customers and we haven't had to go out and borrow money to be able to do what we've done. We've been able to do it on our own and we're still at that point yet. Any advice for would-be entrepreneurs? Be patient. <laughs> be patient and know that there's going to be a lot of things coming along that you don't expect. As for their plans for the future? We initially started because we wanted to be able to do something on our own and something to hand on to our kids. So hopefully it'll work out and we'll be able to hand it to them and they can pick up the ball and go with it. With the Regional Chamber Report, I'm Kim Gonda.